I just want to say that, uh, Kim, I see you have your big black lab on your lap. And uh, that's very much permitted, but I'm very jealous too. <laughs> that looks like fun. So uh, on the internet, I've been viewing what some of the bishops have been saying about Easter this year. And this caught my eye, and so I'm going to share it with you. It's from the Bishop of the Ohio Synod. And it says this, this year might be the most important Easter of my lifetime and of yours. For the first time ever, it will not be celebrated in the midst of crowded pews or in view of spectacular organs. We will hear the music from electronic speakers rather than the reverberating organ music through the sanctuary and through our bodies. There will not be the aroma of lilies or the hugs of cherished friends with whom we share worship. The grandeur of Easter worship and the sound of glorious music inside a beloved sanctuary cannot be fully captured on a computer screen. And yet, let us make sure that our proclamation will not be muted. Our joy will not be shortchanged. The church does its best work, standing right in the middle of emergencies, right in the middle of the cemetery, right in the middle of times when people would proclaim death. Easter is about proclaiming life. And this year more than ever, the story of the resurrected Christ has given to us life-giving power. That was cleverly done, I thought. Let us move to our opening hymn, Jesus Christ is Risen Today. And where is Janice McIntosh? Would, would you say, say something about this piece? Would you introduce it like time and place, that kind of thing? Sure, this is uh, uh, the hymn that we did two years ago with organ, bells. Um, Tom Brandt was there, he was conducting. So you'll see lots of faces that we haven't seen in a while. And then the choir, I think this is one, the one where the choir marches in. So please join them in singing this hymn. 